Hey guys, so my hair is really messy today. Um, it's not normally up in a ponytail. I usually wear it down, but my eyes look really, really hazel. They're blue. It's just the lighting. Um, if you guys can't tell, I am not in my normal spot. I am actually not at home right now. But anyways, I thought that today I would do a story time with y'all. I know it's like not original and like everybody else is doing it, but I have some really good stories that need to be told. So, um, today we are going to talk about a car crash that me and my parents witnessed when I was a kid. So, um, where to start? Where to start? Um, we are just coming back from church. Um, we used to go to church when I was a kid. Um, and, um, it was, it's in Detroit, about 20 minutes away from my house. And, um, when we came back, we realized, we, my dad told us that we got a new GPS. Which GPS's were like all the rage back then, because they didn't have them in your phone. So, you know, GPS device were pretty exciting back then, I guess you could say. Anyways, um, so when we come back, when we came back from church, um, we decided to test out the GPS, so we just drove around, and, um, we were going under, how are those things called? Damn it. What are they called? Anyways, we were driving. I think it's called underpass. No, underpass. Oh, I feel stupid. Anyways, we we're driving, and uh, on in the next lane, we see a guy whose car is broke down, and he's standing in front of it, working on the motor. So, um, me and me and my parents, well, my parents, they pull over and um, ask if. They just, you know, yell out the window, yo, you need help? And, uh, the guy finally, like, sees us because he didn't see us at first. And he starts walking over to our car. And almost immediately, immediately after he walked away from his car, he was extremely lucky. Um, some guy was just cruising. He was going at least 100 miles per hour. He was going really fast. Uh, way past the speed limit, and he hit the car so freaking hard that it went flying, and it didn't stop for at least like a mile. It went at least a mile. Um, so the guy kind of sits there in shock for a second, and then screams, "My baby!" and starts running. And me and my parents were kind of sitting there in shock. I was like. 10 maybe and so we're all sitting there like his baby what so we immediately start driving towards the car the guy who um, hit them just pulled over and he got out and he was just like standing there I remember he had like this big fur coat on and he was just standing there and then he kind of got back in his car and drove off like not even checking to see if they're okay and uh, we drove up to the, where the car stopped, and then we saw um, what I could only guess to be his um, partner holding the baby who was screaming, but it was okay. And she was complaining about her back hurting. She was crying. She was saying, you know, my back hurts so bad. Um, so my mom walked over. My mom's really good with babies, and she was like, do you want me to hold your baby um, so you can relax? because?" You obviously injured your back and the people whose house they stopped nearby called the police so the not now so the ambulance went on its way um so my mom was sitting there holding the baby while the mom was sitting right next to her trying to relax and we stayed there for a while until the ambulance came and uh yeah that was my story it's, it's kind of short <coughs> But it was crazy. Um, it, it was just a really crazy night. Um, so yeah. 
Um, the everybody thankfully was okay. The car was totaled, but everybody in the car was okay, and that's good. And I'm glad that the guy wasn't standing in front of the car when he hit it because he would definitely be dead right now. So yeah, there's my little story for today. Maybe I'll do this weekly. Just relax and talk about stories from my life and embarrassments. Um, so yeah, that, that was it. Um, they got to the ambulance, I'm just guessing that the girl had some sort of back injury, um, and which is not even close to bad when you think about it because she could be dead. The baby could have been gone too, which would have been really sad. Like, anybody dying would be sad, but like a little tiny baby that's only a couple months old, like that'd be terrifying. Anyways, any who we do, I am going to go. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.